Robert De Niro uh, is one of my all-time favorites. I mean, of course, actor like he, like he is for many, uh, respectfully so. I say I got a lot of respect for him and his body of work. But uh, one thing I like doing his uh, the most because it's just it's the subtleties. He's like the king of subtlety to me. Uh, he's just a true master at it. A lot of people do Robert De Niro uh, impersonations. And so it's like when people do impersonations, they always get it to like, it's like they feel like they have to nail it down to the idea of you gotta do what that person always does. You know, like, okay, this person, like a habit, like these people have acting habits. Um, now, I mean, everyone has their own style, of course, their own form, and essentially their own habits as an actor, yeah. Um, but it's like, what, you know, it's like, and not every, movie, not every movie that Robert De Niro's gonna be doing, you know, he's gonna be like, like you talking to me, you know, he's not going to be like quoting the same lines from the same movies. He's not necessarily going to be acting the same way. He wouldn't be very versatile. Now, whether or not you want to argue that, okay. Um, but just to show the versity, like again, he's, he's uh, the king of subtlety. Uh, my, I'm not saying that my way is the highway, the right way to do an impersonation, but if I do someone like Rob De Niro, it's more of what he doesn't say. Uh, it's how he pays attention. You're saying whatever it is you're saying to him, and he's just kind of... Uh... I don't know. That's that's me doing. See, I'm doing an impersonation of Robert De Niro, but he's not saying anything. So it's kind of kind of I take it or leave it. That's my impersonation of him. That's how. That's what I feel when I think of him. You know, quiet, uh, concentrates, very observant, very aware of his surroundings. Uh, he assesses quickly. He's intelligent. He's like a chess player, makes his moves accordingly. Uh, digests. What it is he's being told, understands it. Uh, so when he is funny, you know, whenever he does get a, a smile, you know, whatever happened, uh, is he be sitting there and kind of. I know it's like it's funny because you're thinking like how oh, he's doing the impersonation but he's not getting the voice and like voice is half the battle because you don't look like him. Or you're not supposed to, you know, usually you don't look like the person you're impersonating. Or do you? Fucking guy here, huh? Talking about 
while being incarcerated. I'm not incarcerated. I am not incarcerated. You are incarcerated, my friend. You are here. All these scenarios, these concepts, they're all in your head. You're out of your mind. You know that? You do not make any sense. None. None. I'm not nervous. No. I'm tired. I just want to eat my chili dog. I want to go to bed. I don't need Why do you keep saying, what's the matter with you? Why do you keep saying that? What's the matter with you? Did I tell you that I need a place to hide? Is that what you heard from me? Is that what I'm telling you? Is that what I'm, is it, is that what I'm telling you? Is that I need a place to hide? You think I need a fucking, you think I need a place to hide? Some about me. You know me. You know who I am. You do not know who I am. You have no idea. And you will not know what that is. Not for a second.